been an eventful day, but uh, the highlight is the agreement between the government and the student representatives. What's your take on today's outcomes? Uh, the most important thing is that we had a discussion. Don't say quite a matter supported. The NC took a decision and explained the demand of students is reasonable and understandable. Uh, because the NC is part of society, it understands realities of society. And we are quite grateful that in the meeting of the government, the vice chancellors, the councils of universities, the students came on agreement to actually put a moratorium on the field trip and put a team together immediately to work on the path to free education. To me, that is uh, the most correct approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I must emphasize that free education is not just a demand that comes now. The NC resolved on that in, 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 in 2007 and they've been working on it. Uh, some would say, and the students have been saying, uh, SG, that uh, the government has been taking too long to get to this uh, uh, outcome of free education. What, what are your thoughts on that? No, no, but the, the, the point is that uh, I haven't had anybody tend to quantify progress made. For example, let me start with, leave the, the basic education that 87% of schools in basic education are in no free schools. Now, that is number one. Number two, Nobody appreciates the fact that all NSFAS funding to SET colleges is grant, and therefore it is free education. Nobody acknowledges the fact that PhD and master's research is sponsored by the state, that is free. Nobody has expressed any appreciation of the fact that third year funding from NSFAS is a grant, that is free. Therefore, the actual gap that we're fighting over is first and second year of the undergraduate. SG, a lot of the students were saying that uh, they have to behave like this because you're not hearing us when we're trying to tell you our feelings and tell you our thoughts. They say that they have to take to the streets. Why did it have to get to this level before we get a resolution like this and uh, listen to their demands? Now, the, the, the reality of the matter uh, is that, you see, you have uh, students, you have universities that are semi-autonomous, great degree, uh, take decisions. That's why, for example, one of the issues we are raising, that should be looked into, is the, actually the autonomy of universities. Whether well, they should be able to take any decision, the government must just pay. For example, it is university councils and vice chancellors who increase fees, and the state is, exp is expected to just cough out money. And we're saying that should be looked into, government should be part of that process of decision-making in universities. Number two, the fact that even remuneration of, of, uh, of university the vice chancellors and executives, is that the level it is, means that there's freedom to take decisions, but the state is to pay. Every time the money for NSF has been increased, universities have increased fees. As a result of that, the impact of the increase in NSF has not just been translated fully into increasing number of students who are funded by NSFAS. The students have lost confidence in the Minister of Higher Education and Training. And I'm just wondering, as a party, is that something that you'll be looking at? No, I don't think you, you can allow ministers to be appointed and fed by students. Then if you do that, you'll have chaos. It's the same answer we gave when the youth league made the same demand to say they are opportunistic and populist mm. because it is not their competence. So it is not an issue that we should look into. We should look on the issues on the table. All right, so they say, you're saying that uh, today was a victory, but there's been a journey that's not been reported on in terms of uh, getting towards free education. Do you have an idea of a timeline when that day might come? The fact that the, the, the task team is in place means that that task team must be given time frame to work on. Uh, so the issue is that there's commitment and there's a team. That in itself is communicating a very strong message. All right, SG, we're going to leave it there for tonight. Thank you very much indeed uh, for sharing your thoughts with us. That was the Secretary General of the African National...